Hey everyone, I am T-Rex, and today I'm doing my review for War of the Planet of the Apes. This is my final review in my Planet of the Apes trilogy review. So far I have reviewed Rise of the Planet of the Apes and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. And if you want to see my review for Rise of the Planet of the Apes or Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, I'm going to leave a playlist up there where it has the two of those films and I'll have this one in there as well. So it'll be my entire new Planet of the Apes trilogy playlist. Anyways, without that out of the way, let's get into my review for War of the Planet of the Apes. First off, the narrative is already in an interesting spot after being left off from Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Dawn did a really good job of doing that kind of Dark Knight thing where the characters are kind of painted in a bad light so they look in trouble. And I love how instantly we see the military starting to hunt down these apes and they have things written on their backs like bedtime for bonzos. Things like that really make this world feel even more alive, even if it sounds a little more silly. And this film also takes close to no time to get right to the meat of getting right to the main characters out on the road for this grand journey. Love all the narrative just instantly wants us to get to this core group of characters, and the core group that we have on this journey are the same ones we have from Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I think it was a great choice to focus on the characters from Rise, because it really shows how far these characters have come since that movie, and how much they've changed, but still are the same type of characters. They have gained a lot since these films, and they've also lost a lot. This narrative is great at being able to get a lot of fantastical emotional elements from these characters that lead to a third act that is truly amazing and an ending that I think was near perfect. I think that possibly the second act is a little slower and that's just because it really takes its time but that's not really a bad thing either. The second act really takes its time because it wants you to really be in this situation that is just terrible and kind of terrifying so that the third act can really pay off which leads to a third act that is just super satisfying. It might have been a bit long in the second window, but that is fine. I think it easily justified being longer just so that we could really have a third act that really paid off. And luckily, along with that, we're able to bring over that fantastic tone and world building, which was one of the things that I thought made Dawn of the Planet of the Apes so good. Again, I love how they're able to show the amount of time that has passed just by showing us that it's more wintry now, it's more winter time. I think it's really beautiful because I think the tone and the type of weather that they're in really is able to bring out the violence and what's happening to these apes. And out of all of these films, this one easily feels the most brutal, and that really works for as we are getting these humans that are now more desperate, these apes that are more desperate, and it just keeps getting more violent. And this film really kind of tries to push that PG-13 boundary, especially with a virus. What it does to people is pretty sad and violent, and I think it's pretty cool that they were able to do that. I think this film really pushes things farther in this overall just kind of bigger story of this virus because it really shows how terrible it is for the humans. This film definitely has a darker tone, but I think it works because it just shows how desperate people are and what is happening to them, and I think it really helps us with understanding what these humans are going through and why they're doing these things to the ape. I thought the tone and world building was absolutely fantastic, and I think the pacing is also very good as it's able to move us through this world at a good speed. I think the pacing is quick when it needs to move characters. It's also very good when it knows it needs to slow down and take its time in longer moments. I think overall the pacing was very solid as it really knew when to move characters along and also really want to let us have longer moments with these characters. And this story would not work if it was not for the fantastic characters that we are with for the entire time basically. We are once again with Caesar, Maurice, Rocket, and Luca. And these are the characters that we have gotten to know very well and care for all of them since we saw them in Rise of the Planet of the Apes. This story really focuses on Caesar and his relationships with like Maurice as these are both two apes who have seen a lot and come a long way. These characters are absolutely fantastic. You also have Rocket and Luca who are still there from Rise who started their journey there. We also get a new ape with Bad Ape. He is amazing. He instantly slots into them being this hilarious character, and you're also feeling right at home with these apes. I think Steve Zahn is great as Bad Ape. We also have human characters, and before in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, my criticism was the humans kind of sucked, and with this, the humans are much better. And with the human that stands out in this film as the Colonel, who's played by Woody Harrelson, and well, he is the Colonel of the humans, and he just hates the apes. Now, since we saw all the destruction since Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, we kind of get where he is coming from. I thought he was actually a pretty decent villain. I thought he was very interesting. Again, of the apes, I really like that they decided to focus on a smaller group 
And since these are characters that we are now totally invested in since we've seen them in two films, it leads to a story that is overall very personal as it feels very much like Rise of the Planet of the Apes. This leads to a story that's very personal and honestly carried by its excellent characters who we really care about along with these fantastic performances from all of the actors. This leads to a film that is very emotional film that is really able to give us a satisfying ending to this trilogy but also being able to go off on a high note. We get to see the end of a journey with characters that we honestly care about and at least one of the most satisfying finales I've ever seen. I think this third movie captures everything that's truly great about this new Planet of the Apes trilogy and with that I'm going to say that War for the Planet of the Apes is great. I really enjoyed this film and you should definitely check it out. Also share this video with a friend who likes the new Planet of the Apes trilogy. Also I have a new series coming out where I will be reviewing all the legendary monster movies leading up to Godzilla vs Kong and I will be reviewing Godzilla vs Kong, trust me, I am hyped for that. So next Tuesday, my review for Godzilla 2014 will be out, and tomorrow I will be doing another Marvel-related video. So keep your eyes peeled for that, and when that comes out, I'll see you then. Bye.